So obviously, whether you're a beginner or not, you want to go ahead and start with jacking the car up and then go ahead and loosen the lug nuts. Before you do this, um, you don't have to loosen the, the take the tire off, but it's actually a lot easier if you do. Even take the tire off on either side, it don't matter. I chose my passenger side. Also, you want to make sure you got these jack stands set up. You need them on both ends because you want to have so, as much clearance as possible. If you have a, a better jack than this, make sure you jack it up high as possible so you have better clearance. For See how much room I have? I can actually reach up a nickel right here. Some people I see, they come from all the way from the under, from the back end, and then reach, and it's easier just to move the tire. And, but the reason I'm changing it, as you see, it's leaking right there, and that means the, uh, the pinion in there is bad, the seal is in there bad, and then I also need to change my... That's just regular dirt, or whatever that is, maybe it's coming from the boot. End of the day, this is still leaking, it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and change it. And you also have access to your fuel pump, if y'all didn't know. So this thing is called a vent hose, I just found out, I had to look it up. So if it's breakage or anything like that, it'll be kind of obvious. But I think mine is good. I don't see anything. If y'all can see something, I don't see anything. It don't look like it's broken or anything. So I'm gonna leave it alone. But it looks decent to me. There's nothing blocking it on the inside at least. So I can see. It's a vent hose. So I'm not even sure if my fluid, oh, I think it is. I'm not sure if my fluid is actually low or I'm gonna end up changing it anyway. But this video, I gotta wait for my oil to come in cause stuff is so high now. And I got some Lucas oil, which is probably like one of the best oils to actually get for this. I'm just gonna change it. And then it does take uh, 75, 140 synthetic oil only. But once again, this pinion is Lincoln. It's like a little rubber seal that's all it is so i'm gonna go ahead and change it before you know what I'm saying? anything else happen and like it's not a it look like it's just a small leak but good thing i caught it and then we're gonna change this whenever i get my fluid in so i want to do a two-in-one video but i'm gonna have to do this one and if i jack it back up another day and then do my differential but once again just make sure you check your hose make sure it's good i'm trying to pull it off and not allow me to pull it off so it's pretty solid on there but like i don't see any once again i don't see any i want to get it off so i can blow through it but it's only air coming out of it it's not like as you see inside of there i mean once again it's only air this is just the dirt from obviously mud and it's in the back of the car so and this is pretty normal i've seen it on somebody else's this is actually normal it's a vent hose so it does this now if it was leaking from the outside of there then it'll be your axle so I don't see any leakage on my end. It's just right here where this vent is at. So, and then nothing on that end. So today we're just changing that once again. So it should be a pretty simple task. Uh, these are held on by one half or uh, 12 or 13 millimeter, milliliter, I believe, something like that. But I'll just get one half of all with y'all. But it's not a hex, it's a, uh, I don't know what you call this, man. Let me know down in the comment section below. Or I'll probably end up putting it in the video. But I had these for a long time. Like 10 to $12 at uh, AutoZone. Maybe not no more because of inflation. But I got these a couple years ago. But it's what you need if you see the pattern of it. You need to get this off. It's only four. Two, three, four. And we're gonna go to the next scene. I'll show y'all this. Um, Make the job like that. Already know. I'm holding the camera with one hand because it's so tight under here I can't put my tripod and I can't find my little tripod. I think it broke a while ago, but yeah, there you gotta go man. Let's get these four bolts off and we'll move to the next step. So after you get your bolts off, you wanna hit this with a hammer 
hit this right here, this part right here with a hammer. It'll come right off. Now you can go watch another video and look at the specs and the torque wrench and stuff. I'm not doing all that. I'm just changing the rear seal. So we are gonna find the tool to get this off with. And then we pretty much be easy going from there, but it's my light off. Yeah. So once again, just hit it with a hammer, it'll pop right off. And then you leave that open right there and you just need to get that bolt off and then we'll get to the seal here next. I almost forgot to mention using the same plate make sure you mark it so I have it marked with a crayon where it's gonna go at so you don't lose uh, the position because you will mess your differential up if you don't do this so do that and then what we're doing right now I'm gonna count I'm gonna count those threads just to make sure because I'm not I'm not using a torque wrench but I don't I don't do that <laughs> Then we're gonna get this off and then I have the tool that's why you once again you invest in tools I got a 27 millimeter just sitting inside my um, my mechanic bag you want to say so this is a 27 millimeter you want to see? make sure you invest in tools do all the work yourself man this is simple it's real simple do all the work yourself invest in your tools and you always have some But the next step is to get this off. So I gotta figure out how to get it off without the stain turning. You can use an impact wrench to get it off, but let's try to get this off. So I do have it coming off. I put, was it a 3 8 drive or a 1-4 drive extension in there so it won't move and it's actually turning. So I'm trying to get y'all the best angles. Um, which, if you're already down here, check your fluid. You need to kind of keep this open a little bit, but my fluid looks, it looks old, man. The stuff that's coming out of it right now, it's like green. It looks like radiator fluid or some shit. But, uh, yeah, make sure you, I'm going to end up changing. Once again, I got to change mine anyway. This is a two-in-one video. I'm still waiting for my Lucas oil to get here. But as you see, I'm just still knocking it out with a hammer. So it just takes a little bit more time. But it is coming out. All right, my bad, guys. Throughout the whole video, I recorded everything pretty much. Like, example-wise, as best I could. But this part... You need to bang the back of that plate and it's going to knock it forward. So hit all four corners for about, just take about two minutes, hit all four corners and it'll come right out. You see, it should not look like that. When you, uh, wait, it shouldn't look like that originally, but this is how it looks. I'm still knocking it out with a hammer, but it is going to come out though. I almost got it out. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's leaking fluid, so you might want to get a drink pan. This fluid actually looks kind of new, honestly. So I guess when I got this car, really was truly that shop I got it ordered. The, it's not shop. The dealer I got it from is a good dealer. Because this fluid looks pretty good to me. I've never seen green fluid in the back, but it does look pretty decent. But I do see some damage right here to the seal. So the seal is bad, as you see. So all we really need is like a little flathead now and then to pry up the seal and then we'll be kind of good to go from there. Pry up the seal, smash it back in. That's pretty much it, smash everything back in. But I can't really record that once again because of the spot, but I'll show you all in the process of me kind of taking it off a little bit. But you do need a little flathead, I believe so. So I got the seal off. Once again, you just need a flathead. You gotta hammer it in so flathead and hit the back of the hammer with that and it'll come up as you see it's obviously this the original oem one these normally which i'm saying i'm still learning as i go man so thanks y'all for watching the video man if you're new to the channel make sure you like and share the video make sure you smash the subscribe button man. for real because as i'm doing this i'm learning myself so i wouldn't do this to nobody else's car because i don't know how to, i never did it before there's a lot of stuff that i a lot of stuff that I do, you know what I'm saying, just comes with experience. So I was just like, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it myself. Cause I was thinking in the back of my head, man, I seen the guy on the video who doing, he using a lot of tools, a lot of easier tools than what I have. At least a couple easier tools, I really like too. But I was like, I, I should just take it to the shop. You know, I was like, you know what, nah, F it. I'm gonna go ahead and do it and look where I got, 
look where it got me. I've only been doing this probably for about an hour, but this is really like a 30 minute job if you got the right tools. Really, like literally a 30 minute job. So once again, the seal is off. We just need to put the new seal on. And I got my seal from O'Reilly's. The seal, Master Pro. I think it's like a $6 seal. If you order it, it costs more to order it, a lot more. But this is the same looking seal. And look at the seal, how it's on. So you wanna put it on the same way, just like this. So it goes on this way. And not this way. It does not go on top like that. It goes on this way. It should look like that and put it on there. It should literally match up with that seal. But um, you actually wanna do this while you're changing your differential fluid. But I'm not gonna, I'm probably not changing on man. This fluid looks good. Like, it looks like brand new fluid. It's not dirty, it's not, it doesn't look old, but. I do want the Lucas in there because it's, it's a lot, it'll last a lot longer and it has those additives in it as well. But once again, man, that's it. Let's go ahead and take the seal off. Let's compare them, contrast them. Let's make sure everything matches up the same way. And in a way, it might be a little louder, but it should look exactly the same, which it pretty much is. It's just old, rusty. I mean, this is 220,000 miles. And good thing I caught it, man, because this can actually mess up your whole differential where you have to get a new differential. So when you see that leak, as you see right there, it's leaking out because as you see in the beginning, there was like a little piece. If I can get catch it, I probably tossed it somewhere. There was a little piece that was missing from it. And it was causing the leak. And you can see the rubber pieces is cracked. So that's where the leak was coming out. So it's not too bad. You can still drive on it for a little bit, but you want to go ahead and replace it while you can. This part costs $6. I had every single tool here, so I didn't spend anything because once again, I already had invested in my tools. So literally, I didn't spend a dime, bro. So other than $6. Actually, it's like $7 and some change. But once again, you see that it's cracked. The rubber is cracked. They make cars like this on purpose, so it can have to replace it they can make they can make parts where you don't have to replace it but this is how the auto industry makes their money if y'all did not know and then once again it looks good on this side but the other side you see this you don't see any cracks it's not hard so other than that that's hair contrast and let's go ahead and put this uh, piece on right here I'm gonna try to put some anti seize lubricant on it to go around it. I know it's still kind of draining, so I'm gonna put it around it. So for next time, whenever it gets placed, which is probably years from now, it'll be easier to get off because it has some anti seize lubricant on it. So I got it on there. Just be careful not to put like any in the inside, really. You can kind of spread some more with your fingers if you want to, but I'm gonna leave it like that. So I got it on there. You just want to make sure you go around it a couple times just to make sure that it's sealed right. And it still should leak because obviously the gear has to come out and come into here. So it's going to leak. This is how it was when I first took this piece off. It still leaked out a little bit, but it's normal. But uh, once again, just go around it a couple times. For y'all example, I'm trying to hold it. Yeah, here we go. Let's go around it a couple times. recording that part but I was trying to use a rubber mallet but it didn't work and it was kind of flipping off every time I used a rubber mallet but I uh, used the actual hammer some steel and once again just go around it you'll know when it's flush because you're here in metal and metal content definitely flush and we definitely flush but we are good to go we go ahead and put this spindle piece back on here I had to hammer that down too it has to go on the gear. And then once again, remember your spot. I just try to remember remarking it just in case. I don't know what my crayon wants to. See you hammer this down too. You see it already going in.
get one of the tampons. That's pretty much it. We're gonna put that back on. Put our screw on. Oh yeah, one thing about the screw, I ain't probably mention it. Here my crayon. Huh? Make sure your little seal on the back end is good as well. This is a little seal. Little seal. You put that back on there. So I got it on there. Smack it with a hammer. No special tools needed. And then yours should look like that. That little crease. That's how it was when I first looked at it. So it should look like that. I've been smacking it in for like another two minutes and it still won't go past it. So that's, that's the spot where it's supposed to be at. Now we just got to put this back on. Put the screw on there and then put our four bolts in. We done, man. That's that's it, man. This is pretty much if you get experience, it's like an hour job, man. I was just trying to figure out it took me longer because I was just trying to make sure everything what it is and put some recording so it takes even longer. But let's go ahead and screw this screw back in and then put our four bolts in. And that's pretty much it, man. I'm gonna wrap it up right here. Alright, y'all, so that's gonna make it a wrap for the video. I had this light on go up under there but it's gonna make it a wrap for the video it's pretty simple for the most part uh without recording and everything if you know what you're doing no special tools needed it's take about 45 minutes maybe give yourself an hour just take about an hour it's not a hard job it really ain't uh for me it ain't i say for me but somebody who ain't never worked in the car before it's like what is this what is that but um it's pretty simple for the most part like i say i'm at a point now where i can just break down stuff without even having to look at uh diagrams or i can look at a diagram and be like oh this is what they want or this is how it is it's really just figuring out the tools so i'm gonna put the tools in the beginning um other than that man it's a wrap let's make it around for the video let me know what you think down in the comment section below if you like the video did y'all not like it uh make sure you like share the video and smash the subscribe